Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Core 77 Transportation Design Track of the uh, awards, the Core 77 Design Awards. I'm here uh, as the jury captain for the transportation design sector. I am Jay Rogers and the CEO of Local Motors, and I'm joined by my illustrious uh, panel in judging, and a couple of us are actually here uh, for the announcement. So uh, with me is uh, Aurelien Francois, and Aurel is the lead designer Hi. of Local Motors. Hi, Aurel. Thanks for joining us. And Hi, then Jay. The other two judges that joined us in the judging were Chris Kokalis. He's the CEO of uh, a great uh, bicycle company, does work in uh, all over the world, actually, in Europe and in the Far East and in uh, the United States. And uh, so that is uh, Pivot Cycles and, uh, and their sister companies around the world. And so Chris was not able to join us for the announcement, but was definitely there for the voting. And then also Victor Garcia, who's a senior designer at uh, Peterbilt Motors Corporation, a large over-the-road Class 8 and other types of class uh, truck manufacturer. And so Victor uh, is uh, also not able to join us today for the announcement, but was there for the judging. So we'll get going. And I wanted to say thank Thank you to everybody who uh, gave us a great entry. This was a fantastic competition. It was an honor for us to judge, uh, both in the student category and in the professional category. And so we look forward to telling you what we've chosen. Certainly our methods are imperfect, but we spent a great deal of time discussing each of your entries. We looked at the videos when provided. We looked at all of the supporting material. We looked at the descriptions. And we considered everything a number of times in our method before going back and making decisions. And so everybody got a fair shake and a fair read. And what we're here today to talk about is what we were presented. So just a couple of notes and ground rules from the way in which we did the judging. There were so many great entries, and many of them had ideas or potentials that were perhaps even beyond the design boards or videos that were presented. But we felt that we could only fairly judge what had been presented. So we did not refer or read in to any of the designs, and uh, we did our best to tell you what it was that we were uh, focused on, so uh, or that we were presented to to focus on. So so without further ado, we'd like to begin the awards, and we're going to start, just so you know, with the student entries. We'll talk about the notables first, then we'll move on to the runner-up, and finally the winner in the student entries. And then we will move on to the professional entries. We'll talk about the notables there, and the runner-up, and then finally the winner in the professional category. And that'll be it. And so good luck to you all as we make these announcements. Uh, please reach out over the uh, Twitter sphere or Facebook or even if you have them, email to thank everyone who, uh, um, who placed and to thank those that did not for their hard work. So in the student category, um, the first notable that we have is the gig pack. The gig pack was by Gustavo Brenk from Universidad Fumec in Belo Horizonte, Brazil. And there it is. So what we'd like to say is the gig pack was an amazing entry. It was notable for us because of the fact that uh, it was a clever use of something that you see in a lot of cases, the backpack, the scooter, and uh, the ability to be able to put together something that rolls. Uh, really a fantastic uh, concept. We think there was even more that could have been presented about it, and I think there's a chance that it could have been lifted above the notable category had we seen more uses for it or seen it in action. So great job, Gustavo. We really thought it was an excellent piece of work. Over to you, Aurel. All right. So next notable in the student category is a Triton by Patricia Ben, Mary Howard, Philip Carlino, Richard Penny, Dave Marin, Stephen Lando, Lars Neisberg, and Frederick Groth from Parsons School for Design in Brooklyn, New York. And so the Triton is um, a new look for containers all over the world in harbors uh, to replace the uh, current seal that is used. And so here's view on the project and so the concept behind that is allowing two new functions is being able to log every geographic location for the containers and at the same time improve the handling for the for the customs so that is a good thing for customers who can track their um, um, products all over the world but at the same time for customs so there's definitely a large potential for this for this concept next one Jay Sure, absolutely. So uh, the next one for me was the water line. This is a notable by Andre Heller from Massey University in Wellington, New Zealand. And so uh, the water line spear fishing waterfowl is known. Uh, we thought this was notable for many reasons. You can see it right there. Um, we thought this was notable for many reasons. It took a really careful look at what was available in the market and then what could be improved upon. And we thought that it meant it met the intended needs with an appealing and purposeful look. 
and we thought it was a clever entry to a, uh, a niche product that had a lot of use for people who care about that niche, and that is an exciting thing. So well done, Andre. Over to you, Aurel. All right, next notable one is uh, Airship Sunrise by Metin Kaplan from Umea Institute of Design in Sweden. And so here's a quick view of the part that we definitely liked the most was the technical concept behind it. Uh, it's just like taking a um, regular hot air balloon, but you mix that with some science fiction and some uh, Jules Verne inspiration, and you have this concept of of um, air balloon um, flying thanks to the solar irradiance. And so that was definitely something very inspiring that we would like to see someday flying over our head. So, Jay? Well done. Okay, the next one that I have on the notable category for the students is the life cycle for UNICEF. This was by Alvin Chang, Jamie Lin, Leah Martinez, Craig Protzel, and Emily Webster from the Interactive Telecommunications Program at NYU in New York in the United States of America. So there you see it. This life cycle kit was designed for northern Uganda as an emergency transit vehicle and it is a concept, it, as a concept we thought it was great as an inexpensive solution to meet a legitimate transportation need. This was really a fantastic design that used a minimum a number of components to be able to convert standard bikes that would be found in the area. Really well done and, uh, and well presented in the video also. Thanks so much for you all there from that notable. Next notable is the efficiency truck uh, from the College for Creative Studies uh, in Detroit, uh, made in partnership with uh, Freightliner Trucks. And so, quick view on it. There it is. All right, so um, this project is like uh, forward thinking about what could be the truck tomorrow, thinking a little more about efficiency, aerodynamic efficiency, and lightweight ma materials. And so, this project is definitely bringing fresh air in, in a market that is very conventional and hopefully on, in the future on the road. That's great. Okay, and so for the last notable in the student category, we have the Flycat by Alain Blumzweig from Bezalel Academy of Art Design and Shmuel Kaplan from Tel Aviv University, from Tel Aviv, Israel. And so uh, the Flycat, it's a folding catamaran. You see it there in its unfolded state. What an awesome project this was. Um, uh, very clean looking design. We loved the fact that this could make accessible uh, sailing and catamaraning from any place where you could drop it in the water and you could put it on the top of your car. Uh, a note there is we felt that we really wanted to know more about the structural integrity, integrity of splitting the two hulls uh, as they were split in a way that we would want to know uh, more about how they're kept together. Uh, but that didn't keep us from loving the design. We just had more questions and wanted to know more. So well done and uh, congratulations on something that could really take us from the shore to the sea very quickly without having to pay any fees for a dock or anything else like that. Well done. And on to you, Aurel, for the runner-up. All right. Yep. So now we're sliding to the runner-up. So we picked the Yoban Mail Vehicle for Poston, the Swedish Postal Service. This project has been made by Alistair Warren from New Zealand for the Umea Institute of Design in Sweden. So a quick view on this one. That was it. So, yep. So um, this, this project is made to... Um, for the future restructure service, um, postal service in 2015 in Sweden, and is made to face harsh um, weather conditions like the cold night. Um, so I had a specific interest for this project because that brought me back to school when you have a project that seems a little tough at the beginning, like not a lot of excitement to anticipate, and you realize that you're learning a lot of things about the end user, about what you call improve or, or bring, uh, I mean, improve solutions. So um, that was definitely one of my um, most interesting ones. And so this one is bringing um, new, uh, improvement or innovation on the ergonomics, for example, with a sliding seat for the postman, functionality with adjustable storage, or usability with, with a small footprint. So definitely congratulations for this runner-up. Well done. Well done, Alistair, and uh, congratulations on the UMV. And now on to the winner in the student category. The winner of the student category for the 2012 Core 77 Design Awards in the Transportation Track is the Shavit, or Shavit, Electronic Adjustable Superbike by Eyal Melnik. And there it is. 
from Shankar College of Design and Engineering in Kvar Sirkin, Israel. The Shavit um, is a, basically it's a road sport bike with an adjustable riding position system and it allows it to turn into an everyday tour urban motorcycle without sacrificing its basic sport bike character and changing the rider position geometry and basic bike ergonomics. Um, its structure creates a sharp and aggressive superbike icon that would talk to the superbike riders at heart, we think, which are also rather conservative by taste, and yet has the acceptance of new technologies which change the familiar visualization of bikes. So, the Shabbat showed a complete design process. It's one of the best that we've seen. From ideation through sketching and mock-ups and then movement studies, detailed movement studies and prototyping, the Shavit project was a clear and well-developed entry. The pivot or adjustable innovation on the bike is a clearly articulated and compelling need for motorcyclists, but it is a challenging one to solve and one that's been tried by many people. The Shavit demonstrated subtly and thought in how to make this work and it was well done in that way. So a huge shout out on that part. The aesthetics of the design were consistent and well articulated. All of us four were uh, from very different backgrounds in transportation design, but we were unanimous in liking the design aesthetics, and that is a huge credit to the authors of this design. The movement study showed a feasible approach to an adjustable idea. Additionally, the usage of standard equipment and other well-known engineering setups from the front forks, the rear drive, the spoked wheels, and the hand throttle made this appear even more feasible. And feasibility is certainly an important part of any great design. So bravo, well done, Ayel, and the chef, congratulations in the student category. Really well done. Okay, so we're going to move on to the professional category, and I'm going to turn it over to you, Aurel, for the first notable in the professional category. All right, so in the professional category, the first notable is a Prius uh, Pally for Toyota, uh, made by Bob Pally and, and his team, and from uh, Beverly, New York, and in partnership also with uh, Deep Local um, for mind reading, mind, mind reading technologies. So let me show you a view of of the project okay. so yeah it's in mind read this that. one is a bicycle but more than just a bicycle it's associated to a mind reading technology like meaning that you want to shift you just have to think about it and it happens don't shift up shift so that's hopefully something that will happen in the future most likely that will happen so the whole team was very interested about this project the whole jury uh, still curious to know how it works in reality when you're the one who has to downshift or upshift by thinking about it, but still very interesting um, concept about intuitive experience. Great. Next one, Jay. All right, the Airstream Sterling trailer is the next notable here by Christopher Deem from Airstream and Andrew Privis from California. So here we have it right there. Look at that beautiful thing. That is the interior of an Airstream Sterling trailer design. So the uh, travel design, uh, this offered a really clean and distinctive interior while still perpetuating the spirit of that iconic Wally Bynum brand using aluminum and aeronautical influences. Really well done. We loved it right from the beginning and it made our notable category right away. So congratulations. All right, next notable one is the BRD Redshift Electric Motorcycle by Jeffson, the CEO of BRD Motorcycles, and these people are from San Francisco, California. So here is a view. Oh, that's better without a cover. All right. So what's special about this motorcycle? It's electric. Okay, you will say once again something electric, but this one has the specificity of um, outperforming uh, the gas equivalent, and that is pretty interesting because about any electric vehicle you can hear oh yeah but gas is doing better not in that case the structure is developed uh, the chassis is developed uh, to make it work and the aesthetic is definitely into the codes of uh, motorcycle so definitely if it goes to market a, hit, a future hit so next one Jay I think we have the runner up now yes indeed okay well so on the professional category the runner up the Faraday Electric Bicycle by Ideo and Rock Lobster from Palo Alto, California. All right, so the Faraday is a vision of the ultimate utility bicycle. Look at that. Art Deco utility all in one. A beautiful everyday bike that works whether you are seeking a healthier commute, transporting your child to school, or carrying boxes 20 miles in the dark. The innovative design combines the functionality of a cargo bike with the power of an electric bike 
and seamlessly integrates all the electronics inside frame. That was a really cool piece about the design. So it's got a retro look in the way that they did that with an elegant approach to this and integrating the latest battery technology. It looks safe and strong and it offers a solid carriage ability. In fact, we noted that the tubes that were used to make the bike were probably two times overbuilt for what we thought was necessary and that added to the cool factor of the bike. So uh, um, well done and uh, I bet it could carry a lot more load than what it actually looked like it was made to carry in that basket and we would love to see it out on the road. So congratulations on the runner-up category in the professional for the Faraday electric bicycle. And now on the professional side I'm going to take the time to uh, um, uh, promote the winner. So the winner on the professional side for the 2012 Core 77 Design Awards in the Transportation Track is the Revelites Bike Lighting System by Kent Frankovich and Revelites from Emeryville, California. And there it is right there. Look at that. Now that actually is the wheels running fast uh, held up a little above the ground just so you can see what it looks like. Normally you would see that with someone pedaling except the bike would then be going by you really fast. So the Revelite's bike lighting system consists of two narrow rings of LEDs that mount directly to each bike wheel using a series of rim-specific clips. The spoke rim wheel mount design enables the visibility to the shared road traffic. There you can see it on the road. And while also illuminating the rider's forward path, which is a really cool feature of making it a dual-use feature. The Revelite's basically one of the most unique solutions to bicycle lighting that we've ever seen. There you can see it coming at you. We love the idea that it functions not only as safety lighting for being seen at night from all directions, but also provides additional forward lighting for the rider. It provides a nice visual effect when stopped also, and an overall unique graphic signature. This design really spoke for itself. In fact, it lighted for itself. We liked that the Revel lights could be adapted to any bike and that the design was clean and simple. It also appears that this product could be manufactured at a reasonable cost and therefore be accessible to a large number of bicycle riders in many different global markets. It had a universal appeal and applicability and also installability and perhaps affordability. So uh, well done to Kent and Revelites and the Revelites bike lighting system uh, takes the first prize, takes our winner uh, category in the uh, professional design track. So thanks everybody. A real Great to walk in. A global hand and uh, we'll look forward to seeing uh, next year's and uh, hearing from the jury team next year as to what they will choose. But no doubt, uh, if it's every bit as good as this year, they will have a tough time deciding. And so congratulations and good luck to you all in your future endeavors.